Also tonight, a former Colts player is fighting for his freedom and his career. Josh McNary is on trial for sexual assault. Now this case stems from what a woman says happened inside of a downtown apartment. A crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson is following this case downtown at the city county building with the latest. Steve. Yeah, Andrea and John, during opening statements today, both the prosecution and the defense came out swinging. Now again, Josh McNary is on trial for rape, battery, and criminal confinement, but at the end of trial, it will be a jury that decides his future. Josh McNary stayed quiet, surrounded by news cameras after he emerged from the courtroom Monday morning. Prosecutors and his defense attorneys finished seating a jury made up of mostly women who will decide his guilt or innocence on rape charges. His attorney is convinced they have an open and shut case, even with the jury makeup. We don't have any comment at this point. I think you just have to let the jury do its thing. That's been my position all along. On December 1st, 2014, a woman claimed it was Josh McNary who sexually assaulted her in his downtown apartment. She says he convinced her to come home with him to see The View after they danced, drank, and flirted with each other at a downtown bar. But once inside his apartment, prosecutors say he held her against her will, forced her to have sex, and became angry after learning she left him with scratches from fighting him off. But attorneys for the former Colts player argue sex was consensual, and she is a confused young woman who drinks too much. Defense attorneys also argued that her story about the December 1st encounter has repeatedly changed. At the end of trial, a jury made up of one man and 11 women will decide McNary's fate. Today's court proceedings are scheduled to go till 5.30. Now, we're told that the victim herself is expected to take the stand. Andrea, no word yet if McNary will take the stand in his own defense. Back to you in the studio.